ओके हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जावा सीरीज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मेनली डिस्कस अबाउट वेरेबल एंड डेटा टाइप्स इन जावा वेरेबल एंड डेटा टाइप आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जावा बिफोर मूविंग टू द प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यू शुड नो हाउ टू डिक्लेयर द वेरेबल्स एंड डेटा टाइप्स वॉट आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स सो वी विल मेनली डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज वेरेबल सब वेरेबल प्रिमेटिव एंड नॉन टाइप ऑफ नॉन प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप लोकल वेरेबल एंड ग्लोबल वेरेबल ओके सो दिस आर द मेन थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू डे एंड नॉन वी विल डिस्कस नॉन प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप इन द डिफरेंट वीडियोज सो एज ऑफ नाउ वी विल डिस्कस ओनली अबाउट द प्रिमेटिव डेटा टाइप्स ओके सो जस्ट स्टार्ट फॉर द Type of variable or what is a variable? Here? Okay. So guys, here what is a variable? So if I introduce this small small uh, questions are also very important. What is variable? So in simple terms, variable is the name of memory location where we store the values. Okay. Uh, there are three types of variables in Java. That is a local variable, instance variable, and static variable. So, variable is name reserved allocated in memory. In other words, it is the name of memory location. Okay. So it is a combination of very plus able. That means its value can be changed. Uh, so you can change the value of that variable any time. Okay. So what is a local variable here? So what is a local variable? so local variable is a variable which is declared inside the method is called as a local variable which is declared inside the method okay so i put you for this okay so what is the instance variable so what is the instance variable a variable which is declared inside the class which is declared Inside the class, but outside the method. But outside the method. This called as an instance variable. It is not declared as static. Now, what is a static variable? A variable that is declared as static is called static variable. It cannot be a local. Okay. So note that it cannot be a local. it cannot be a local okay so we will uh, discuss how uh, in the, uh, through the examples so what is variable and how different types of variables how to declare with that okay so just start so we will go for the data types so what is the data type here so so okay data type so there are two types of data types In Java, there is a primitive data type and non-primitive data type. Okay, so primitive data types are here. There are eight primitive data types: boolean, char, byte, short, int, long, float, double. Okay, uh, non-primitive data types are string, arrays, classes, interface, okay, etc. But we will discuss this non-primitive data type in uh, future videos. Okay, as of now, we will discuss about primitive data types. Okay, boolean. So default value of boolean is false. Default size is one bit, and the the uh, and is it char? Okay, so it will store a value of char. Boolean it will store a value of true or false. The default size is one bit. Char is the default size of uh, char is two byte. Byte default size of byte is one byte. Default value of short is zero. Default size Of short is two bytes. So this is the chart you have to follow. Okay, long, float, double. If you have the decimals, okay, then the default size of double is eight byte. Okay. So in this way, you can just follow all the uh, values of this memory locations and range. So this is you. Uh, 
so we will just start the eclipse here now create a fresh new project to java project okay so give the name java for so we will give a name of data type java for name finish okay so right click on your project new package demo java then right click on that package and then create a class variable data type public static void main okay good so so we will start here is the auto generated you have to delete one this so before going through the any programming language you should know variable and data type how to define that variable and data type okay so we will just start from uh, boolean so if i have a status boolean status okay so so this is a data type and this is the variable declaration and this is a declaration part okay so if you want to use that with so if if you want to initialize just you have to take this value status equals to otherwise you can do this okay fine but you can do this in one line like boolean new status equals to false okay but the, in this way you can do this first and second but i will highly recommend this uh, this type of uh, declaring and initializing the the variable so so why it is giving the warning because java is restricted so it is showing that you are if you are not using the variable declaration then uh, why you are initializing that okay so we will see so control plus space system dot out ln print ln means what so next line okay so we will have double quotes so whatever you want to initialize this okay whatever you are giving the values in double quotes it will consider as a string my old status my old status was control plus a copy and then we give it a plus sign and paste it here okay so so now see here now the warning has been removed so like this way we have to use again next system dot out dot print my new status so this is your plus and then copy this variable and paste here so now see here the both warnings has been removed because you have used that initializing part and declaration part of that variable okay so this is about the boolean how to initialize and how to declare the variables okay so if you run program 
so it will just first print out the old status and then new status just click on this uh, right click and then run as then java application now you can see my old status was through my new status is false why it is coming you are not coming in space here so you are not given here space now see here run as java application okay fine Let's start for uh, how to use the characters. Okay, so let's go for them. Then friends, we have already discussed about uh, what is boolean. Okay, so how to use that boolean? So it is true or false. How to print it back? Uh, we will go we will move on to the data type. So, which default size is too wide, and this is the default value. Okay, this is the standard default value. Uh, uh, so, you are, don't have to worry about that. So, just start up a practical demo of that. Go to Eclipse, go to a project that is we create Java for Selenium, then go to the package. Right click on that new then class. Okay. So give the name class that uh, you want tag right? Tag right. Tag So I give the tag is described by convention. Java type name you will start with the upper case. So go just follow that. Okay. Then say publish the format. You click on Okay, so so first, uh, if you want to use the data type, you have to initialize that. So how to initialize the uh, char data type? So just type char. Okay, in this, this, and then take any name you want to do. Then, okay, it goes to whenever you are going to. Uh, suppose first we are going to only just uh, initialize. Okay, initialize the variable. Oh, otherwise, you can do it in both. Okay, I will print. If you want to initial, if you want to declare the variable of uh, the char, then you have to give in single quote. Okay. So like in this form. So if you want to give a character m. Um, Okay, that's it, like this. But why this given this? Because you have not used still not. Okay, you are not printing it. So it will give it a warning. Okay, the value of local variable as is not here. Okay. Tools if you want to get another tab one equals to in single node. If you if you are giving double quoted then it will take as a string. Return type will be a string. Now, So just start to print over here. First care value please. This place. And then this place plus sun. So it will directly take from this data that care as sun. Okay. So now I don't print. Second char value is space and then plus assign one. So it will take from this data type. Now just save this okay. and just uh, try run this. You can we will see how it will be print. Okay, so it should print first yum, first char value is yum, then second char value is g. So whenever you are going to print your data type here or anything, you have to give the variable like as plus variable name. So it will take from this initializing part. Okay, just right click on your script and then 
click run as the Java application. Okay. So it will see here in console first care value is M, second care value is G. So let's click run. Now second thing is that suppose the system what will if I take SMT equals to if I give a number, what will happen? 65. Or suppose I will give a 64. So it is showing because number you are going, not giving any double quoted or single quoted form. Okay. So so this is showing error. So noted that. Okay. Now it is not showing error. So why this is not showing error? Here it is a cat and you are giving the number because. Uh, in Java, there is a Unicode system in there, so it always initialize the number of that uh, the first character from that number. So we will see the chart first. So just print out here. Double quote it. Uh, Care value is a plus variable name. What is variable name? Same. Okay. But we have to see first. This is a okay. Uh, this is a chart where you have to use the characters, numbers. This is the code. Okay. Ask it abilities. Okay. So here care means character. Okay. So now we have initialized the 65. Okay, so 64 I think. Okay, so here is the 64. For 64, it is add 64 is a A. Okay, so it should print a A. Special character like X. Just click on your script, run as then Java application. So it will print M, G, and N. Suppose if I print cat SM4 equals to 1. Okay, 67. What do you want? Here you can print it. Copy this. Print paste here. I will give four. Cal value is SN. If you go again SN3, then it will again show you the hours. You will see a duplicate value of SN3 and SN3. But if you to SM4, it will only print the SM4 value. So it will not print 67. It will go for the table, ASCII table. So ASCII table in ASCII table, what is the 64 value is here? So the 67 C. So it should print a C. Okay, so right click on here, then run as in Java application. So M, G, add, and then C. So it will print. So it is pass. Okay, okay, so guys, we will start with the next data type. So we will see a data type list. Okay, we will data type. Boolean is over, that is over. So now, it's short, in long, clone. Guys, we are going with the first size one by according to the default size data type, we are going to the initialize the data type. So when we are going to initialize the byte, short, in long, this time, so just start over. So we will just create a fresh class view class type in byte etc. Okay, okay. Okay, static word one and finish. This so friends, Sadi, this will be stored the this will be written value of alpha values or uh, uh, num numeric values. Okay, so five short in long float distance. This is not equal uh decimal values, float in double. Okay, so double will take eight byte size. So if if the, the decimal value is more than the four byte, then just convert it into double. Okay. So byte short in long. 
So what is the range of byte short in long? You go to Google. Range of Java. Okay. So go for the click on the first only characters. So it will show you a table. It is slow. Okay, scroll down. Okay. So by it starts from minus 122 minus 127. Short is two bytes minus 30. Sorry, here is a 127, not minus. Int equals a four bit will store a default size of four bytes. So minus 270, 271. Count eight bytes. So this is the range. Okay, so if the value is ex exceeding this, then it will then you have to use the short. If the value is exceeding this value, then you have to use the int. Generally, we always use the int, not using the short, wide, or long. Okay, suppose the value is larger than int, we are using the long float seven decimal digits. Okay, and double is for 16 decimal digits. So just add over here. Uh, now we will first we will go for the byte. This is any numbers. Okay, so we will go for the byte. So you can give it any name. Uh, the initialize. Uh, so the de declaring will. So you have already declared the variable. Now initialize that. So it will store a number. Okay. So you have to give any number. Okay, so you are giving number, but it will show a error. So just for add class to byte, first change type of dosa to into file because the byte range is from minus 120 to 127. Okay, so here the minus is different from. So you have to give one. 109 below the 127 so it will not show the error suppose if you are giving x more than the 128 it will show the error so it will ask you to add cost to void or change type of dosa to int like this okay so good okay otherwise you can add cost to void so like this you can cast it so it will automatically converts from byte to okay Six into plus space five value is data type value is okay, you will print the general sentence. Okay, dosa value is or dosa price is plus of this variable based here okay now suppose uh, okay we will just first print here run as java application so it is printed okay now we will take another example so byte those are done equals to 25 which is more than the range so it is showing the error and cost to white ok we will do add cost to white so this is another example control c control p those are prices those are one. So it will not show you. So just right click run as Java application. So it will give you minus 71. So speed converted from 5. So, so after adding the cost. So 185 it will minus from the value. Uh, 185 minus 127. So it will give the 
minus 71. Now, this is a byte, and we will go on which data type? Short. Uh, sorry, byte and short. So, just look up the short range here. Short stores a default size to bytes and range is minus 32 to 32 765. Okay, so just go for here. Short Italy equals to 32 6 7 9. So, it is taking the value 39. So it is not taking the value because it exceeds add short or add cost type of Italy to int. Okay, so we will use like okay, both into byte. But if you use here byte, it will error. I, I hope you understand it very clear. Very good. Okay, so, so Always checking it value and the price is plus it is okay. Good. Now we will put in tapa. First. Step. So give more than the take thirty six nine zero. Suppose if you give a short, it will show you. Student. Okay, great. Just print over there. So it will print first dosa price, dosa, then dosa one, then it leaves the book up. Just click on that, done as Java. Okay, so those are the one and nine minus it is the cost one, only price is six eighty nine, Uttapa price is three. So if you have any doubts you can comment below. So so it is very easy guys. If I am doing as a mechanical engineer, so you can also you can do it clearly and very fast. Okay, so into, so go on to the next data type here. And the int is long. Okay, so just go your table. So long stores eight it will take the range from who oh, will store if the well code value. So if the layer the value extends this value, we copy this if the value extend this will suppose we can okay. pause to it will not show the error. Okay, it should be showing the error. This type of first two hint. Oh, okay, okay. You are giving the number. So we are just putting this number as so it will not show the error. Okay. Because this is your limit. Suppose if you change the value here. Okay, one number is added. So the little clock is out of range. So in place you have to use lock. So little buff in is out of range. So why it is giving the out of range? Because you are giving So guys you need to showing the error because you have to press the error first. Okay. So this is a long output print out system. So 
plus of fitter and then right source. So, so now it should print the value here. Okay. So one hundred and sixty nine. Okay, fine. So you have not you are now clear about all the the byte, data type, boolean, short, int, long and character. Now we will move on to the float. Okay. So suppose you are giving the value, you are giving dosa value, dosa value, value. Okay, you should initialize the variable, suppose 60.5 is there. But it will show the error. Why? Because here it will show the option add cast to int or change type of data type to double. So we will now go to the double. Okay. Okay, good. So this is your double. Why? But it is already a float. Why it is giving the double? Because it always stored as a double. Uh, then we will store the data types. Float it will take a seven digit numbers and double it will take a system. Okay. So if you suppose if it is a float, it will show the error because you have to add cast to the float. Okay. Here you have to do like this. Now, so so. Dosa when price is given. Plus of data and data. It will print. Good point. Run as. So, 60.5. Okay, good. It is working. So now it will be the double price. So I will tell you the in wrong scenario only. Okay, data 6. It was to 60.502 okay. places. Okay. That will show the error. So now you have to use the change type for this is to double. Okay, double like this. So if you want to store the uh, the symbol values you have to use the float of double. Most of it you can use the double. Okay. So, so it is interesting to learn. Okay. I hope you understand all the data values. Okay, so it is working. We will see now interesting part here. So just suppose if you have want to think better than ink judge g equals to suppose if you have sixty point two five. But it is a double value, but you want to store only in ink. So give here cast like so it will not show the error. So we will now print what will happen. We will see. So what Java will do? It will take a 60. It will ignore the point 25. Just so print cast in plus g. See what will happen. It should. So what Java will do? It will take only the values. So it will not take the decimal values here. Okay, good. So this is a very interesting part. So let's see a very interesting part over here. Okay. okay. So uh, I will create another class here. New class. Give name directly global and local. You can take this without giving any capital letter. Okay. So now like this. Okay. Suppose what is the global variable here? If you are initializing the variable 
in inside the class, then it will be a global bandwidth. So, class, class, class. Okay. Okay. You are not declaring here. How in marks assign here. So you are initializing it locally. So local and global. This is a local variable declaring in data type and it is a global variable. Now print both system. Okay, copy this, paste here, and take this variable. So, most important thing is that here it is showing the error, and it is not showing the error. Why is this so? Okay. So guys, here is uh, here is the log global variable and here is the local variable so you, here you have to use static because we will discuss this in further videos okay, okay. so this is a global variable and this is the local variable you are printing the system for out of print this is a global uh, local variable but it's showing error and in global variable it is not showing the error why this because the local variable not showing the Default value as zero, but here it will store the global variable default value zero. Suppose it will be here equals to zero, then it will not show the error. But here you are not initializing the value here, but it will give the default value like this. Run as Java. So it will store it. But suppose if you are not initializing the local variable, this is very important thing, then it will show the error. Okay, so I hope you understand the global and local variable. So, guys, we studied about uh, what is variable and uh, what are the data types, what is a global variable, primitive data type, and non primitive data. If you want any type of video, just comment below. If you have any doubt, please contact me on Facebook page or on YouTube page. Okay, so thanks for the day. Thanks for watching and share with your friends. Please subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day.